Anzac round so far has been f***ing hectic. We still have two matches left in the round, but plenty has happened already in the tomfoolery, which is what we are here for most of the time. Like I said, I eat this stuff up. There was plenty of it these past couple of days. And let's start off with the first story we got. Got Donny Staggs, quote unquote, calling out Silsifa Talakai. It was hardly a call out. I've got a clip of the interview right here. On your side is Talakai. Have you been watching the beast? <laughs> Talakai, what he's been up to the last few weeks? Yeah, he's, he's, sorry, uh, he's, been, he's been going good and um, you know, that's another um, opponent that I've got to come up and uh, i just got to play my footy and uh, back what I can do and um, you know, I'll, I'll give him a run for his money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, beauty. It's yeah. a spirit. That's, that's a worry, that's 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 Tony. Tony. So like I said, hardly a call out, just a bloke back in his ability against another, just showing confidence. Look, that kind of response from Stags, it's a hell of a lot more interesting than the standard cookie cutter answers, and it gets the fans going. Just have a listen to the panel's response. Yeah. Oh, beauty. It's a spirit. Yeah. That's, That's a worry, Tony. Right. I cannot wait for these two to cross paths in the next round. This game will be my match of the round. Yes, because I am a Broncos fan. Got Donny Staggs had quite the battle this week against a uh, young gun, Aaron Shop which didn't really get talked about much. That in itself was a fun little battle to watch. Shop was pretty solid. A mess for Godoni Stags coming up against Silsifa Dalakai. There's more things to consider. Bulldogs a solid effort, but overall terrible attack. Whereas Cronulla on the other hand, they make sure what needs to happen happens before the ball even gets out to Dalakai. So do the blokes inside of Godoni Stags, but, but it's nowhere near as clean or consistent as Cronulla's attack. Look man, just thinking about the match is getting me gassed. I cannot wait. In the famous words of Corey Overtime Anderson, There's love in this! There's love The Penrith Panthers prove yet again that they are levels above the rest of the league. I almost felt bad for the Canberra Raiders while watching the game. It's crazy because the Raiders weren't even that bad to be honest. It's more the fact that the Panthers were ascending to new heights, which is pretty ridiculous if you think about it, even the way they beat the Raiders. In classic Canberra Raiders fashion, in the trenches, outmuscled, outgunned, and overpowered, much like how they used to beat their opponents back in their heyday. Super impressive performance by the champions. Just when you think we've seen them hit the ceiling, they've gone and blasted right through. There were talks of a fight breaking out at the end of the game, but I would nip that in the bud right now. Nothing happened. Just a bit of push and shove, you know. I'd be frustrated too after being on the receiving end of quite the beatdown from the Panthers. Not only did the Raiders have to endure that, they had to endure some disrespect from the crowd as well while they're playing. I don't know about you guys, but for me, there's only one thing worse than a sore loser, and that is a braggadocious winner. So Sticky and Whiten were asked about the Viking clap from the Panthers, and his reaction was priceless. I got no thoughts, mate. Is that, is that really a big focus point? I keep seeing comments about karma coming after Penrith after all the so-called disrespect. We'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. Until then, the Panthers have the bragging rights. These two teams do play each other, but it is not for a while. Round 21 is when they'll play. Hopefully, we see a leveled up Raiders side. They would have taken a lot from this loss. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you boys. Plenty of antics. And the round isn't even over. We have some bangers coming up. The Roosters taking on the Dragons and the Melbourne Storm taking on the New Zealand Warriors. As always, if you enjoyed that and would like to see more rugby league related content or more content in general, be sure to run a show with that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you. you, you. Later.